In a previous video, Catherine from Cathafit asked how she could do cloning in her dance video. And since I'm all about shortcuts, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to achieve the cloning effect. Hey guys, I'm Kevin and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm not in my normal studio environment because I'm six to 7,000 miles away in Taiwan, visiting home. So hello from the future because of the time difference. This is the plan for a super cartoon camera. If you have any experience with video editing at all, you would know that a video is made up of layers. Not that long ago, cartoons like Mickey Mouse was drawn on different layers of glass and then shot on one perspective. Now, although we have fancier tools, not much has changed. Layering footage on top of each other is still how we achieve effects in motion pictures. In the event of cloning, there are two ways to do it. You can choose to do it in the way of a green screen, but then you'd have to set up a cumbersome green screen. And then you would have to make sure you light the green screen properly or else you can't key it out. Or maybe you can key it out and then you become semi-transparent, or you can do it the easy way. But before we can do so, let's examine at what exactly we would be doing. Let's say we have a scene with you dancing on the left. Then we have another scene with you dancing on the right. If we cut one of these ends and lay them on top of each other, we would have achieved cloning. In terms of video editing, we will accomplish the cutting process with masking. So how exactly do you mask? Let's head to Premiere. In Premiere, I have these two clips that I shot, one with me on the right and one with me on the left. Let's lay them on top of each other first in the timeline. Select the clip you want to mask and then go to the effects panel. If you just click on the square under the option that says mask, your footage is gonna pop out with some outlines. Drag those outlines on your footage to where you want your footage to be showing. As you can see, we essentially have the effect we want already. To blend the two pieces of footage together, we want to pick the feather option. Just increase the value until it looks semi-believable. If you see my video on the disappearing effect, you would know that a steady background is crucial when you try to overlay footage. In terms of shooting the cloning footage, we want to make sure that the characters from both sides don't touch, because that's the easiest way you can accomplish this effect. But if you want them to interact, you could technically mask out the points where two of your characters interact. And you do that by just adding more points to the outline we previously saw. But that's for another video. If you haven't seen my previous video on how I achieved the teleportation effect, be sure to check out that video on the left. If you're a fan of telling stories, take a look at my video on the easiest storytelling structure for your videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And until the next video, I'll see you later.